So I definitely believe that the best ideas I've ever had have come from other teachers. Um, so I was uh, presenting at the English language arts department um, meeting the other day and going over the rubric section of eDoctrina and John Kenover had a fantastic idea um, about using the rubric when you are creating presentations. Okay, and I want to show you what he means and how easy it is. So I found an oral presentation rubric online from Read, Write, Think. And I used the uh, rubric only tab in, in eDoctrina to make a rubric only assessment. So it's actually pretty easy to use. I gave the rubric column headings the name, excellent, good, fair, needs improvement. And I added C teacher. Um, I tried to mimic the ones here. And then it was really super easy. I gave each one a color and that automatically gives all of the rows of your rubric the same color. And I just copied and pasted everything from this PDF, okay, right into eDoctrina. So it honestly took five minutes, okay? So once this is made, um, then it's time to score, okay? So when you are in the eDoctrina dashboard, you if you're here, you're gonna go to the dashboard and I'm going to pick the assessment that I want. I'm going to pick myself as the creator. And I call this presentation rubric, okay? And it stayed in there. It remembered me from before, okay? So now I am going to go into Enter Student Responses. And there's four viewing methods up here when you come here. The first one is a list. Don't love that view. Second one, a grid. Not a huge fan. Third one, rubric. Totally in love with the screen, and I'll come back. And the last one is teacher comments, okay? So, you know, you could write a comment after every single one of these rubric aspects if you wanted to, and it would align with that rubric header. That's really cool, too. These two are definitely my favorite. But John had such an amazing idea with this rubric view. Okay, so, and I just want to show you the power of this so it doesn't go unused. Um, let's say student number one is up and they're going to do their presentation, their five minute presentation. They complete the presentation and as you, as they're presenting, all the teacher has to do is click on it. Click on whatever they are for the delivery. Student number one, very good delivery. Their organization, not so good. And last but not least, their enthusiasm and awareness, they were pretty enthusiastic, okay? So from this rubric, all of the things that I selected are highlighted, but look here, their grade is also automatically calculated. Okay, let's go to student number 10. Okay, again, student number 10 really knocked it out of the ballpark. Okay, it's so easy, it's so automatically done for you and you don't have to hit save just automatically saves when you close it. But honestly, if you were grading a whole bunch of presentations and wanted to find ease, I think eDoctrina rubric system is a really good idea. Thanks, John. Okay, have a great day.